This is my first or second video with commentary. Uh, as you can tell, today we're going to be doing like a simulator battle setup, you know, because many beginning players don't know how. I used to be a beginning player and I didn't know how. But after playing War Thunder for a while and messing around, I could play it quite fairly easily. So, right now, I'm in like, you know, just like the normal controls mode, like the mouse aim. I'm going to take take it out for a spin and show you guys like pretty much how it would look for you guys basically. Okay, so this is my P51 and we're going to be taking it out. So it's not on the setup for the simulator yet. This is just how it would look for you guys. Like the throttle, the mouse aim, you know. I'll be showing the simulator setup in, in a minute or two, I guess. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm trying to turn right now, and it's very difficult to turn around. Like, you can't because you have no rudder control over it because it's mouse aim. This is when, like, simulator... This is why, like, you use simulator, because, like, simulator controls everything in the aircraft. Like, everything is separate. It's not just, like one small circle that aim does everything for you you have to control it yourself so right now we're gonna begin the tutorial part here let me go back to the main runway first what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna go into the control setup um... obviously I have some extra like configurations like open bomb bay doors and that but you won't need that for the most part unless you use bombers a lot in like realistic and simulator mode um there's also like um where is it there's also miscellaneous the acrobatic smoke that comes from your wings and also with um, you can control your engines but to do that you need to go into full real controls which is this like where simulator comes in no no instructor no auto trim none of that pretty much um, first what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna do um, it's gonna go into the, like the throttle axis now this is optional 
this is optional because you could do it on the right stick or the left stick to go up and down for the throttle. I like it being on the left because I'm more like comfortable and used to it. Um, here we go. Uh, most of this I just ignore and put add, not replace because it would change most of your um, controls or commands for like other things like the tank. Uh, the roll axis I like to keep it the right stick left and right. Um, from pitch axis I like to use the right stick up and down. And I also like to invert axis. Because so when I pull the stick back, it goes up, and when I pull the stick, f like when I push the stick forward, it goes down. I'll I'll show an example of that in a little. And my all axis, which is the rudder, is the left stick, left and right. Okay, so that's pretty much the basics that you would use for simulator. Um. Oh, and if you want to control your engines too, you'd go down into the manual engine controller and put in a setup. I have the X and square button. Um, I use those because they don't like restrict your usage. Like for example, if I use like R2 and L2, or yeah, R2 and L2, that would be like bad, I guess, because it would use your ammo up. Okay, but now let's go back into the game. Um, flaps down, flaps up, toggle sight. Okay, but you don't. You need to. You don't need to like do any of that because you have your still. You still have your four main controls: up, down, left, right, on the left side of your controller. Okay, so as you can see, there's no circle controlling it. Um. You can see the roll, uh, pitch, and the rudder. In the corner, you can see that I'm throttling up right now, too. Also, on the beginning, on simulator mode and takeoffs, I don't know why, but it tends to like um, it tends to move to one side. Oh, come on. Okay, that was a failure. Let's use another airplane because the P-51 obviously doesn't want to cooperate. Bombers um, are more suitable for it, I guess you could say, but bombers are more heavy and require more takeoff space. For this, I'm going to take my B-17 out. Obviously, there's other ways you could play simulator, like with the joystick, which I'm not familiar of using on PlayStation. I know many people that use joysticks in like, like everything else, like on PCs, laptops, you know, all of that. But with PlayStation, I'm not familiar with that. I need to like get into it. Very good takeoff. Very smooth. Oh no. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. That is the consequence of not paying attention, I guess. Obviously, on simulator mode, you'd have the pilot's view, not um, like the outer view, like this. It would just be this. For the most part, it's easy to fly.
and we're off. Yeah, you have to watch out for the tree line on some of these maps because when the runway is too short and there's a tree line, it could be a really dangerous and you probably can't get a repair for it to be 17. Well, that pretty much concludes the tutorial on how to do it. Um, I'll be making a separate video just to like show the actual control setup and not like the flying part. But thank you for watching, guys. Um, subscribe to my channel and like the video. S catch you on the next video.